Hello all, this is a video tutorial for setting up a Hortonworks sandbox for Hadoop in your own laptop or personal computer. A prerequisite which is needed today is a virtual machine player like VMware Workstation or Oracle VirtualBox or, or something of the like. The VMware Workstation can be downloaded from the URL which is given in the document from this site. Choose the right operating system and download the same. Once downloaded, the VMware launch will look like this. The next step is to download and save the Hortonworks Sandbox image onto your hard drive. This is the website where you can download and install the Hortonworks Sandbox image. Choose the right image file based on your virtual machine player like VirtualBox or VMware and based on your operating system. So I am choosing VMware for Windows and just note that you will need a bit of hard drive space here. They say like around 9 GBs. Let's accept and submit. Now you can see that the .ova file which is the image file for HTTP Hortonworks Sandbox has started to download. It takes around like 30 to 40 minutes usually. Once the download is complete, open up the VMware Workstation Player and select the Open a Virtual Machine. Go to the location where you had saved the .ova file which is your Hortonworks image select the same and open so it will ask to give a name which uh, you can modify I'll just put it like Hortonworks sandbox now you can see that the VMware workstation is importing the sandbox from its image while the image is loading let's have a quick look on what Hortonworks and sandbox is Hortonworks is a business software company based in California and their main focus is on giving business solutions based on Apache Hadoop. Sandbox is one of their products which is actually a personal portable Hadoop environment which is usually run on a virtual machine and in most cases it's used for self-learning, proof of concepts and for tutorials. So finally the VMware workstation has loaded the Hortonworks Sandbox image and if you can see here there are some settings we can probably change. By default it allocates 8 gigabytes of RAM which might be on a bit of higher side so I'm just going to reduce that to around 4 GB because my machine supports still 8 gigs. So based on your laptops or PCs configurations you can allocate as much as memory you want but 2 to 4 gigabytes would be an optimal amount. Now let's try and launch the virtual machine. For that you need to click the play virtual machine button right here. Now that kickstarts a new window which launches up the virtual machine. You can see that the virtual machine is booting up and uh, I believe this has a CentOS operating system. Once the booting is complete you can see that the virtual machine is loaded up and running. This window right here will give an IP address. This denotes the IP address of the self loop of the virtual machine which is running from your own PC or laptop. Just note that down and use it in the URL address of a Chrome browser. I have just loaded the IP address on the virtual machines on my Chrome browser and this is a screen which I get right here. And if you know that uh, the SSH into this server can be done through PuTTY as well using the IP address port 22. And at this point of time you are all set to go and try out the hands-on tutorials. Thank you.